ASHTO T85 and ASTM C127 are the standard methods for determining specific gravity and absorption of coarse aggregate. The steps demonstrated in this video come directly from the technician's handbook. The purpose of the specific gravity test is to determine the physical properties of the coarse aggregate. For concrete mix equivalent, a change in this value will change the amount of coarse aggregate in a given HMA mixture. Absorption is a measurement of water in aggregate pores. This value is critical to maintaining a consistent water cement ratio. To perform this test, you will need a 4.75 mm or number 4 sieve, a large absorbent cloth, a wire mesh basket with a number 6 mesh or finer, a scale that conforms to ASHTO classification M231 and for ASTM standards is accurate to 0.5 grams, a water tank, and finally an oven accurate to 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. Once we've obtained our sample, we want to reduce it to the appropriate testing size based on the maximum size aggregate. Next, wash the sample to remove any dust particles that may be coating the aggregate. After thoroughly washing, dry the sample to a constant mass. After drying, soak the sample in room temperature water for 15 to 19 hours. For ASTM standards, this is 20 plus or minus 4 hours. Next, roll sample in a large absorbent cloth. Be sure to take care to avoid evaporation. When completed, the aggregate should be in the surface saturated dry condition. This is commonly referred to as SSD. Record the mass of the sample in the SSD condition. For ASHTO, we'll record to the nearest 1 gram or 0.1% of the sample size. While for ASTM, we'll record to the nearest 0.5 grams or 0.05% of the sample. Place the sample in the wire basket and immediately submerge into the water tank attached to the scale. Gently shake the container to remove all entrapped air. After the scale has stabilized, record the mass of the sample while immersed in water. Place the sample in an oven and allow the sample to dry to a constant mass. Be sure that the oven has a temperature range of 110 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. When dried to a constant mass, remove the sample from the oven, allow it to cool for 1 to 3 hours or until it is comfortable to handle. Record the oven dry weight. Now that we've completed all the physical aspects of our test, we can go ahead and do our calculation for bulk specific gravity, SSD, as well as our calculation for absorption. 
To do this, we'll need three weights. The weight of the oven dried specimen, the weight of the saturated surface dry specimen, and the weight of the specimen submerged in water. These are listed in our manual respectfully as A, B, and C. Once again, all of our weights should be recorded in grams. For this example, the weight of the oven dried specimen is 2,511.1 grams, while the weight of our SSD sample in air is 2,534.5 grams, and the weight of our submerged sample is 1,535.6 grams. The calculation for bulk specific gravity in the SSD condition is B divided by B minus C, or 2,534.5 grams divided by 2,534.5 grams minus 1,535.6 grams. And this should come out to be 2,534.5 grams divided by 998.9 grams, giving us a bulk specific gravity SSD of 2.537. We can now go ahead and calculate our absorption. The calculation for absorption is B minus A divided by A times 100, or 2,534.5 minus 2,511.1 divided by 2,511.1 times 100. If we calculate this out, we should get 23.4 divided by 2,511.1, which comes out to be 0.009. Multiply to 100 gives us an absorption of 0.9%. This will conclude ASHTO T85 and ASTM C127, Specific Gravity and Absorption of Course Aggregate. Listed here are the review steps for this procedure. And finally, there are three deviations worth noting between ASHTO and ASTM. 
They are listed here for your review.